Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you my March favorites. And first things first, I'm completely OCD right now. There is a shadow like coming off of my bangs right now. So if it looks like there's a big black line on my head, it's a shadow. It's killing me. I've tried every way possible to like position myself to where the shadow would not show up but it's not working so I'm just gonna try to look past that second thing is I have some exciting news I am finally moving into a new home Will and I found the cutest place we kind of lucked out and actually we were going to get a town home like a little apartment town home and um, we kind of lucked out and found like an actual home for a really great price in an awesome neighborhood so um, I will be moving within the next couple weeks this is probably one of the last videos you will see me in this room um, I have my own beauty room at the new house so I'm really excited to film in there for you guys um, and a couple people have asked me if I'll do like a home tour or um, vlog. I will be doing all of that over on my vlog channel. So if you guys uh, want to see that type of stuff, I will have my vlog channel listed down below. I've not been active on there in quite some time. Um, but within the next couple weeks, I will be uploading uh, kind of like our move-in day and like just kind of like everyday life uh, things, maybe like I don't know. I have no clue. Let me know if you're subscribed to my vlog channel what you would like to see because I know a lot of you guys already are and you've told me you miss my vlogs. I just seriously, oh my gosh, I have not had time to vlog much less film a video. So um, yeah, that's the exciting news. That's why I'm a little cluttered back here. I'm getting ready to move like all of my makeup into my new room. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for that and let me know if you are subscribed to my vlog channel or if you are interested in my vlog channel what you would like to see on there um, because I am starting it back up. So uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the faves now. <laughs> okay, so the first product I want to talk about is something I was actually skeptical about buying and it is the Smashbox photo finish primer water the only reason I decided to buy this was because Sephora had this travel size bottle so if you aren't willing to invest in the full size which is $32 Sephora does have the travel size bottles for 16 um, I know it is a better deal if you end up liking it to just get the full size but um, I just honestly felt like hey this will be fine travel size whatever I've got a ton of products anyways and I'm sure I'll use this up quicker so this is a water that is supposed to prime your face and uh, I have a full blog post and review on this so if you want to read further into my thoughts on this product then I will have it listed down below but I feel like a lot of people have different ideas for what primers are. Some people would consider a primer like a pore filling uh, product and then some people would consider a primer more of like just a moisturizing prep product. So this I definitely feel like is more of a hydrating prepping product. It definitely doesn't have any pore filling agents in it, um, but it's really nice if you're going for that fresh, dewy skin look. I don't suggest this with powders. Uh, it didn't really work well with my uh, Bare Minerals powders at all. So um, I've been primarily using it with like my Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, my NARS Sheer Glow, uh, very dewy foundations like that. And when you apply it to your face, you notice a little bit of a tacky feeling. And um, it's not a bad tacky feeling. It just is kind of like, yo, I'm ready for the makeup feeling. Okay, sometimes I don't know why I'm giving a beauty advice. Keeping with the complexion theme, I have been wearing my Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue a ton the past month and uh, you know, I've raved about this. I've done a whole video over it. You guys know I love this product. Um, it's just awesome and I feel like in the summertime especially I this is gonna be like my go-to it is just so um, buildable so fresh looking you can just do so many different things with it so yes still a fave for me as of right now and probably forever the next product is a skincare product and it was actually in my products I regret buying I think or I talked about how I did not like it and one of my subscribers suggested that I start using it on my hands or body and it is the Josie Marin Argon Milk. So if you guys remember me talking about this I was saying how I just hated it on my face. I just didn't like it. It literally did nothing for my face basically. Um, so someone in the comment section was like hey you should really consider trying to use this on your hands. And so 
I was like, well, you know, I don't really moisturize my hands that much, so I guess that could be good to start with. So I've been using this on my hands, and then I was like, well, I wonder if it would do well for like a body moisturizer because it dries pretty quickly, and I love it for that too. So I've been using this primarily on my hands and as a body moisturizer, and it's very um, hydrating, but it doesn't uh, leave like a residue on your skin, even though it is that milky feeling. Um, so yeah, if you have this product and you're not a fan of it, like for your face, try using it on like your hands or your body and I think you'll really like it. Um, I'm so glad I found a use for this because it is pretty expensive and I get it on auto delivery from QVC and a set. So um, I have finally figured out a use for this. The next product is a hair product and this was actually sent to me by Living Proof and it is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day or PhD. They have that highlighted and it is a nightcap overnight perfecter so very strange concept with this product uh, you basically just pump it out onto your hands it's like a very thin lotion feeling and you literally put it on your hair before you go to bed at night you can use it on damp or dry hair i use it on dry hair that's how the um the woman that i've com been communicating with from uh living proof suggested that i use it so um it's very interesting so it's just supposed to make your hair feel really like shiny and nice and just perfected when you wake up in the morning and the thing I've noticed with this is that when I go to bed a lot my hair tends to like mat up on my pillow you know what I mean like you got tangles in the morning you got to brush that out um, this has been doing a great job of preventing that from happening and I just I don't know it's the strangest product you guys have to try it I think on Sephora right now you can actually get a um, sample of this if you do order from them so I will try to leave that coupon code down below for you you guys but uh yeah it's a very interesting product and i just wanted to mention it because i've been using it every night just to um you know see what it does for my hair and the main thing i've noticed that this is that it really just has been preventing my hair from like tangling and it does make my hair look a little bit more fresh when i wake up in the morning the next product is also a skincare product which also i don't have i talked about any skincare products oh the Josie Merritt Argan Oil. Um, so yes, this is a skincare product and this is something that Alex got me in our swap that we did um, quite a few months ago and this is the Benefit Total Moisture Facial Cream. So I have been using this or I had been using it like on and off kind of underneath my makeup and um, I just at the time had so many skincare products and I was just using this kind of underneath my makeup and that's pretty much it. Well, like something changed without like within the past month and I kind of wanted to stray away from my argan oil because I don't like when my skin gets you know dependent on the argan oil so I pulled this out of my drawer and decided you know I think I'm just going to give this a shot as my standalone moisturizer and it is so flipping good and I've been using it every day for the entire month of March and since it is almost halfway through April now I've still been using it and um, there's like still over half a jar left so this is a very emollient thick cream if you have dry skin you are really going to love this and I just cannot believe that I can use this alone at night and then wake up in the morning and my skin still feels hydrated like I've not found that with any type of like typical like like lotion type moisturizer um, I always have to use the oil but this has been great the only thing I'm not a fan of is it does have a strong fragrance it does have fragrance in it and I really don't like when my face like my skincare products have fragrance in them but it is like a pleasant smell um, I just don't like the fact that it has fragrance pretty much but other than that it is an awesome moisturizer Next product is an oldie but a goodie from Bare Minerals, and this is the standard Bare Minerals Warmth. That is what I'm wearing right now. If you are curious, I did film a Get Ready With Me video on the makeup I'm wearing right now, so um, I will have that uploaded later in the weeks um, or week to come. And this is just, yeah, the standard warmth from Bare Minerals. I mentioned in, I think, my last video that I've really been liking this because um, I'm back to self-tanning, and I feel like when I wear the warmth, the warmth matches my myself tan a little bit better because it has that red undertone to it so it kind of just makes my makeup match 
my body a little bit better. Um, so yeah, the warmth, I've just been using this for contour, for overall bronzing, the whole shebang, and uh, yeah, I'm back in love with my little pot of warmth here. The last product is something that I've had for a couple months now, and it's the NARS, um, I can never remember the name of this, the Light Reflecting Setting Powder Pressed in Translucent Crystal. Um, so I've basically been using this to set my under eye area, and this is a great sheer product that doesn't add any extra like coverage on top of your um, under eye makeup or any type of like extra coverage on your face. It really just helps to set your makeup, but it doesn't set your makeup in a flat matte finish. It definitely has really great light reflecting properties to where when you look at your under eye area in like your T-zone or wherever you put it, you can notice a bit of like a glow from within. I don't know how to describe it. It's just like you look at your face and the light is like saying, hello, I'm there. Um, so that's like the best way I can describe this. Um, it's just a really great under eye setting powder and it's just really unique. It has a bit of a shimmer to it if you look at it. Um, and when you actually touch the product, you barely get any um, payoff. So I think that's great because it prevents you from overusing it as well. Um, but yeah, this is just a really neat little guy. Okay guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to leave your questions and comments down below. And probably in the next couple videos, you will definitely see me in a different room. Uh, it may be bare for a couple of videos to come, uh, but just bear with me. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to decorate it. And if you're interested in seeing like the move-in process, or I'm thinking about filming like a video showing you because a lot of people have asked me to do an apartment tour where I live now and trust me it is like nothing great okay it is like standard one bedroom college apartment so um, but I am thinking about doing like you know once we get everything moved out uh, goodbye to this one and a hello to the new home so if you're interested in stuff like that then I will have my vlog channel listed down below and uh, yeah I'm really excited for the move and I hope you guys are too and I'm going to be graduating and I'm gonna have more videos up I'm just super excited so I hope you guys are too and I will stop rambling and I will see y'all in the next video bye